We received a call from Hyundai and Lake Mary that they had found a kitten inside the engine of a car. I went alone because the puny human wasn't with me today. Jill took me to see the engine baby. They had placed her inside a box so that she wouldn't run away or hurt herself. Jill mentioned that the kitten was extremely frightened and was trying to get out. She slowly opened the box and unveiled this cutie pie. You could see the fear on her face. I slowly introduced myself to her, let her become familiar with me and realize that I wasn't there to hurt her. Once she was more comfortable, I picked her up by scuffing her behind her neck, lifted her up gently, and held her for a few minutes. After she was used to me, we put her inside the carrying case so that she could safely travel to the house. After a short drive home, Little Miss had to get her flea bath. As usual, we use warm water and Dawn detergent. We make sure to set up everywhere to kill all the fleas. We also use a flea comb to get all those pesky bugs out. This way we don't have to use the Capstar pill. We try to use the Capstar on the adults that we cannot bathe. We gave this cutie pie a good rinse. We squeezed her out and started to dry her. She was the perfect little lady through this process. We try to dry her off with a small towel as much as possible. And before she gets too frightened, we swaddle her in a larger towel to keep her warm and safe so that we can take our time drying her out more. The trusty overalls always come in handy. I can store her in the overalls close to my warm body while I continue to dry her. As mentioned, she was absolutely amazing. Once fully dry, I held her in my arms for an hour, making sure that she stays warm and understands that I'm just trying to help her. After that, it was time for her to go to her new playpen where she can get adjusted to the house. Here she has food, water, pellet litter, and a comfy bed. Meet Jill, our newest foster.